Hi, I'm Kat Gurton, a singer and molecular biologist, and I'm a detransitioned woman. And I wanted to put my real name on record because I want to stress the fact that we detransitioners are real people who have been harmed by gender affirming care. As a child, I was artistic, nerdy, and socially awkward, struggling to find my place in the world. I was subjected to both abuse and bullying beginning in toddlerhood. As a result, I felt alien in my body very early on. If I was a boy, I thought, I could protect myself. At five years old, I asked my mother if it was possible to change genders, and she said no. For the next eight years, I disliked my sex, but I believed I was resigned to my fate until age 13 when I came across an online forum for transgender people. That day, I began believing that the reason I suffered from anxiety, depression, and anorexia nervosa was because I should have been born male. I read that if one had gender dysphoria, it meant she was trans, and it was extremely likely for her to take her own life if she didn't transition. But back then in the mid 2000s, gender affirming culture did not yet exist. My parents, peers, and pediatrician did not affirm me, for which I'm now grateful. My cross-sex identification persisted until age 17 when my parents took me to a gender therapist. They hoped he would take a holistic approach considering my many comorbid mental health issues, but he affirmed me as a boy immediately. The therapist began using he, him pronouns for me and by appointment three, he suggested I start testosterone. My parents were astounded and did not comply with his recommendations. I was unable to pass his mail without any medical interventions and I temporarily desisted. But my unhealthy beliefs about gender, such as you cannot be happy unless you transition, continued to fester in my mind. After years of rumination, this culminated in me deciding to medically transition. I obtained testosterone by calling Planned Parenthood and was prescribed after just a 30 minute phone conversation. Within minutes, sorry, minutes, <laughs> within months of starting testosterone, I, exper I experienced side effects such as liver and gallbladder damage, heart palpitations, and the permanent loss of my natural singing voice. This is what ultimately influenced me to detransition as I realized appearing as a man was not worth sacrificing my music. If this hadn't been the tipping point, I might have pursued surgery and come to regret it as countless others have. If I had been prescribed puberty blockers at age 13, I'd likely be suffering from infertility, osteoporosis, and or stunted brain development. Gender, gender identity is a hypothesis proposed by sex researcher and pedophile apologist John Money. And the idea that by uh, Sorry, I can't read my own writing. The idea that bypassing natural puberty or removing healthy body parts saves lives is an ideological position that is not based in science. Because puberty blockers stunt brain and bone development, leading to lifelong disabilities, I advocate for the complete cessation of prescribing them to gender dysphoric youth and for no other me medical interventions to occur prior to age 25. Thank you.